China expands its naval presence in the South China Sea, taking advantage of reduced American visibility in the Pacific. North Korea conducts missile tests, signaling strength. Cyber attacks, some coordinated, begin targeting infrastructure across Europe and North America, probing for weakness in the midst of crisis. With major West Coast ports offline and parts of the U.S. Navy fleet damaged or redeployed, NATO operations slow. The coordination of international aid becomes more difficult. Diplomacy stalls in places where quick action is needed most. Back home, a humanitarian crisis unfolds. Tens of thousands are displaced along the coast. Airports become temporary shelters. Military convoys carry supplies up and down the I-5 corridor. Martial law is declared in parts of Washington, Oregon, and Northern California. Field hospitals and refugee camps rise in stadiums, schools, and military bases. In one of the world's most developed nations, the scene now resembles that of a war zone.